Thank you for joining us for this Easy Links tutorial. I believe this is tutorial number seven. And today we're going to get into some uh, shortcuts, if you will, that will help you uh, manage more efficiently your use of the T-Sheet. And ultimately what that will do for us is it will allow you to give better face-to-face -face service to the customers that are at the club uh, instead of spending all the time on the telephone trying to take tea times. And make no mistake, tea times are very important. But the more efficient you become at using the T-Sheet, uh, the better overall employee that you'll be. So we're going to talk about three little uh, tricks or functions, if you will. We're going to talk about moving a tea time, cutting and pasting a tea time, and copying and replicating a tea time. And then the last little part of this will be that we will talk about how to uh, send an email confirmation or resend an email confirmation for a tea time that has had one of these functions performed to it. So let's start out with a scenario that a customer calls in and says, hey, I have an 821 tea time today. Uh, if you look at the tea sheet, we'd be talking about Mr. Knapp here. And I'm running late, and I want to know if we can push it back an hour. So what we would have to do in this case is, first, we would locate his tea time, which we already have. We are going to highlight the tea time, you'll see. And if you look over in the right-hand corner, the far right cell, number four, you'll see this little triangle down in the bottom corner. Uh, and you actually see it in all of them, but we're going to go grab number four since we want to move the whole tea time. We're going to hold our cursor over the little triangle. We're going to click and hold. That's a left click and hold. And then we simply just drag it down to where you want to drop it, and then you let go of the, of the uh, clicker. Now, you get this window that pops up and prompts you and says, hey, do you want to remove the original players? Do you want to paste a copy of the original players? Or do you want to cancel the action? And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the original players. So the original tea time is going to disappear, and it is now going to paste it into the 929 slot. So you see it gives you this window. The tea time has been created, new confirmation number, and the cancellation number for the original one. And you click OK. Now you'll see that it has been moved and the original tea time has disappeared. So that is just moving a tea time within the same day. Now, uh, let's take an another scenario and say Mr. Knapp calls and says, hey, I've had another uh, setback here, and I'm wondering if we can just move our tea time to tomorrow at the same time. Uh, so what you're going to do again, you're going to find the tea time and you're going to highlight it. Highlight the whole thing. Now we're going to right click and the more and more you get used to using the right click function to find your options, the quicker you're going to get at using the T-Sheet. So right click here and you're going to see copy or I'm sorry, cut. So you're going to cut and now we're going to flip to tomorrow. So we go up Wednesday, March and we're going to pick Thursday, March 7th. And now he says he'd like to have the original 821 tea time that he had yesterday. So you're going to highlight it. Again, you're going to right click. And now you're going to hit paste. Now, the window comes up again. Remove original players, paste a copy, or cancel. We're going to say remove original players. And there you go. We have moved it. Okay. Now, uh, the other scenario you may get is you may be making a tea time for a customer. He makes his original tea time, and then he says, can we schedule a replay in the afternoon? So what we're going to do here for, to, to speed up the whole process, we highlight. So I'll start over. I'll highlight the tea time. I'm going to right-click again. I'm going to say copy. And now he says we'd like to go back out around 2.30. And so you find, uh, we'll say 226, we highlight, we right click, and we hit paste. And there you go. And now what you're going to see here is notice 226, Mr. Knapp has a tea time, but also if you roll up, you're going to see that he still has his 821 tea time. Okay. So now the last little part of this is anytime that we perform one of these functions and <clears throat> we have made a tea time and then we've taken it from its original time and moved it to a different time. How can we get an email confirmation to the customer on those times? Well, what you would do is simply highlight the tea time, right click, and you're going to find resend email confirmation. You'll click that. It's going to come up with an exact, exact replica of what the customer will receive. And you see that the email address is up here so that you know that he's going to get the email, and you hit resend the email confirmation. 
and you can do that for any tea time uh, that that the customer has an email address so if I go down here let's just do that one more time for his replay I'm going to click and drag highlight it right click and I'm going to hit resend the email confirmation verify that the email address is correct and there we go resend so hopefully those are some little tips that will really help you um, become more efficient in your use of the T-Sheet and therefore uh, allow us to give better face-to-face -face service. So thank you very much.